Hello, my name's Martin Godleman. I've been a violin maker since July 1966. When I left school on a Friday, started working on Monday, and I apprenticed at W. E. Hill and Sons, where I worked for 11 years. Then I had a shop with others for eight years, and all the rest of the time, I've worked at home, self-employed. I've never owned my own instruments. I've always repaired instruments for other people or restored them. Uh, repairs for players, restoration for dealers. And um, so I've never been, a, you know, never been a dealer, but I've been a maker and I've made about 130 new instruments. Majority violas and um, about 10 violins, a couple of cellos, two viola de Morris, some other odds and sods. Uh, I don't even know for sure, I can't remember exactly. Got my little crib sheet here. Uh, obviously, this is filmed on my mobile phone, so it's a lot of bits stitched together. So there's a bit of repetition and a bit of um, waffle. It's savagely edited, but even so, sorry about the waffle and repeats. But I'm an old geezer, I'm allowed to repeat myself. Anyway, I thought it might be interesting to show a tricky job cutting down a violin, the body of a violin, and uh, it's a rare job, so I thought that's what inspired me to do this was because I thought well, I'll never get to do it again. So the takes are obviously unrepeatable, so it's it's a bit sort of um, you know, amateur. Never mind that. I thought it might be interesting. I've left out the rep you know, the sort of everyday jobs of fitting a block, bar, neck, making a fingerboard. I just hoped it'd be interesting. I've got some other bits, so if this is in any way a success, I can do, I can put together some of my other bits of film. And I just thought it might be interesting. Not how to do it, it's just how I did it. There's uh, probably other ways, but I don't know them offhand. Let me know. All right, bye.